this little video will uh, help you when it comes to um, enforcing unique values on SharePoint columns. Not something that I've used quite a lot, but it does have its place and its purpose. So let's take a look at that. At the moment, I'm just on a normal custom list. It's only got the title and I've got a date column in there. But I'm going to go to list settings. Again, please be reminded I'm on SharePoint Online and any on-premise older um, versions might look different. But just have a look around, find your, um, your list settings. It might be in the ribbon actually. So normally it used to be in the ribbon at the top. And then just go um, to the list settings page. Now on the list settings page, I can create a column. And uh, in this example, I'm going to use identity number. And that's like similar to a passport number or uh, whatever it is that you use in your country. So in, um, in uh, South Africa, we have like a South African identity number that we use. I'm going to use a um, single line of text. And uh, I've got to quickly remember how many numbers is an ID number. So the South African identity number is 13 digits long, which is nice because I can also limit the number of characters. So if someone can't enter something that's more than 13 characters, I'm going to say that this column is required, but here you'll see something called enforce unique values. So I'm going to say yes, and then I'm going to say okay. So this column must be indexed to enforce unique values. Do you want to index the column? And let's go back to the list. So this should mean that if I add two items with the same identity number, it will not allow the second one. So I'm going to go and say add new. I'm going to just say test one. And uh, let's say the date is today. And then I'm going to go for the 13 digits. So not quite sure how many those is. Oh, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus four, 13. So let's save that. And now I'm going to try and add a, um, another item with exactly the same details. So let's just unselect that. Let's go again. Let's call this test um, two. Again, I'm going to just choose a date and we'll go for the same numbers. Haha, -ha. this value already exists in the list. If I had to change any of the digits, it'll be able to save. So for me, um, enforcing unique values works great when you have a serial number that can't be repeated or an ID or a passport number or even a specific date or something. So keep in mind this will make huge problems on your list if it's not what you intend to do. So be very, very careful of enforcing unique values when it's not necessary to do so. So there's a very quick fix for you uh, without messing with forms, without getting complicated, right there out of the box in SharePoint, enforcing unique values on items that you add um, in your metadata. I hope that helps you a lot and it saves you time.